Hey, what's going on? Zach D Productions here, and I'm here for an album review for you guys. So for this review, I will be reviewing Metallica's new album, 72 Seasons, which I was definitely looking forward to. I'm a pretty big Metallica fan. Uh, they probably are one of my favorite bands, and I've actually got to see them live last year, so... Yeah, and that was also my first time seeing Metallica live, so yeah, really great show, a great band, of course, so of course when I heard that Metallica was releasing a new album this year, I was pretty excited for it. So, of course, we got the singles to this album leading up to the album, of course, you got uh, Lux Eterna, Screaming Suicide, If Darkness Had a Sun, and the title track. Now, of the singles, I would definitely say that Lux Eterna and the title track kind of go back and forth as my favorite when it comes to the, the pre-album singles, I would say. I mean, when Lux Eterna first came out as a single, I've heard a lot of comparisons uh, to the album Kill Em All with that song. Like, a lot of people were saying that it's basically like a throwback to those days. I personally don't hear it, but I can respect that for sure. It is kind of like their older stuff, which I do appreciate. And a lot of this album, I think, uh, kind of harkens back to the days of their old stuff. Uh, there are still a lot of songs on here that are very similar to Hardwired to Self-Destruct. I would say more so that album than anything that they've done in the 80s or the 90s, or pretty much anything before that point. But... There are still uh, some aspects of this album that do kind of go back to the days of the uh, 80s era and even the early 90s era of Metallica. There still is some of that sprinkled in this album. So yeah, Lux Eterna, very good song, and I would say it's one of my favorites of the singles and also uh, probably one of my favorites on the album as well. And again, 72 Seasons, this is the other song that kind of goes back and forth as my favorite of the singles this song in Lux Eterna like I said a very good song that I think has some great vocals from James and this album definitely does show that um James Hetfield still has it in him I mean I still think he sounds pretty good vocally and everything it doesn't sound like he's had a misstep or anything so yeah, uh, some of these songs, I've noticed that James Hetfield actually still sounds pretty good as a vocalist. I mean, you can definitely tell with songs like uh, Sleep, Walk My Life Away, uh, also Chasing Light, and some others. So, yeah, James Hetfield, he still sounds pretty good, I'd say, as well as the rest of the band does. Uh, the musicians behind him, of course, uh, do a really good job here as well. Uh... The thing is about this album for me is there are some things that I am kind of mixed about with this album. I just wish that this album would have offered more, and that's really my main gripe with the album, is if you've listened to Hardwired to Self-Destruct, their last album, it's basically not much different from that. Again, I just wish that this album would have offered more musically. I think lyrically, it is an improvement. I mean, this album definitely has some more interesting lyrics going on uh, compared to their last album. But, you know, when it comes to the music itself, I can't say that it's that much different. Like I said before, um, a lot of these songs, they're very similar to stuff that you would hear from Hardwired to Self-Destruct, uh, more so than their old material that they've released in the 80s. Now, once again, there still is those aspects um, in this album. Like, you can definitely hear some of their early work and some of the songs on this album, mainly when it comes to some of the riffs in the album, uh, mainly harken back to the uh, older days. I guess it depends on the song you're talking about here, but again, most of this album basically sounds like Hardwired Part 2. So because of that, um, that, that aspect of the album I'm kind of mixed about. Again, I just wish that this album would have offered more. There's not really a lot that is different. I mean, there's some different ideas going on here and there. Uh, like You Must Burn, I think definitely has some different ideas going on. But all in all, the album, it's just... I just wished it would have offered more. Like I said, I know I keep repeating that, but that's that's really my biggest gripe with the album is 
there's not a whole lot of variety to it. That's really my main thing with the album, I think. But with saying that, I still think the album is solid. You know, even though there's not a lot of uh, variation to this album, I still think the musicianship is solid on this album. They still sound like Metallica. There's a lot of thrash on this album, of course. Um, and I'd still say it's a good album. It's still a good album. Now, would I say that it's better than their last album, Hardwired to Self-Destruct? I'm not sure on that at the moment. I guess we'll see in time, but 72 Seasons, pretty good album. So if I were to give this album a score, I have to give it probably either a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10. I'm kind of going back and forth between those scores. Um, like I said, I do have my gripes, mainly with the variation. That's really my only complaint with it. But other than that, I think it's a good album. So 72 Seasons by Metallica. I'd say it's good for what it is. Is it one of the best albums that they've done? I personally don't think so, but still, I think it's good for what it is. So that's my review for 72 Seasons. Let me know what you think. Have you heard the new Metallica album? If so, let me know what you think. So on that note, thanks for watching and have a good one.